Hello, everyone. This is the most intelligent and magnificent bird, Buckbeak, speaking to you today. And in today's video, I will be doing this character review on Gold Mythic Marcus. And before we get started, I hope all of you are doing good and staying safe out there. I'm doing good and I'm staying safe for the most part. And I figured, why not? Uh, Marcus right now is the hottest tune to go for right now. I've seen a couple of people get like uh, at least two, three, even four copies of Marcus. And I'm not going to lie. I'm... I'm jelly but also i have to congratulate those people such as uh tex and uh dan those are two people that i definitely know that have gotten at least three or four copies of marcus and i think he's going to be besides needing him for the kingdom allegiance i just think he's going to be a pretty pretty good tune overall outside of the allegiance but anyway enough of me just babbling on and on i think we should go ahead and get into this character review of gold mythic marcus shall we marcus kingdom his trait is strong his role is control, and obviously, his allegiance is a member of the kingdom. His attack stat is 14,039. His HP is also 14,039, and his defense is 18,719. Now let's take a look at his adrenaline rush. Escalating Might. The recharge rate is 66 AP, so pretty reasonably fast. Deal 40% of this character's max defense in maim damage to up to two enemies. Taunt a single enemy for two turns. Now let's take a look at his signature move. Unsabable. I hope I'm saying that right. But anyway. The initial cooldown is turn one. Number of cooldowns, one turn. And number of uses, unlimited. Taunt an enemy for two turns. That enemy gets minus 50% attack for two turns. This character gets 100% stun resistance for two turns. Now let's take a look at Marcus's mythic abilities. Precision. Enemy resistance are 40% lower against this character. Unstoppable. At the start of each wave, all teammates get 100% stun resistance for one turn. Cease focus. At the start of each wave, 100% chance to remove focus from up to three enemies. And halting force. When being attacked, 30% chance to stun the attacker for their next two turns. Now let's take a look at his specialist skill, Indomitable. While not stunned, whenever this character takes damage, they gain 30% defense until the start of their next turn. In addition to any existing defense increases, Reducing prior activations of this skill. Now let's take a look at his weapon. Okay, 
Obviously, he has a default weapon, so you can just pr put whatever, you know, you can put whatever you want right into his hands. Now, let's take a look at his adrenaline rush. We're going to go over them one by one as quick as possible. Escalating Might deal 40% of, of this character's defense in maim damage. That is that is going to be insane. I can imagine a bunch of Marcuses eventually running around. And for those that do have him right now, just outside of the Kingdom Allegiance, I, I think this guy is just going to be... He's going to be a real pain if, it, if his Adrenaline Rush manages to go off and you have that defense, like really high oh man that's gonna be that's gonna be really devastating to your team if you let his adrenaline rush go off and he also taunts a single enemy for two turns which that's that's a nice addition as well so but the big part of his rush is the 40% of the of his max defense gets turned into maim damage which is, it's crazy because you could easily take out a character with that maim damage and they can't heal, you know, whatever that health is at thanks to the maim damage. You know, they can't go over that unless it gets cleansed. But I don't know, can maim damage get cleansed? I It should be able to, but I can't, honestly, I really don't know. But... I think he's got a a really crazy adrenaline rush. It's going to be pretty good if you have it on your team. It's going to be frustrating if it goes off against your team. So I think it's very good. Now his signature move, taunt an enemy for two turns, which I think that's actually pretty good. That's Yeah, I like that very well. And then that enemy also gets 50% attack down for two turns which that person that gets the minus attack won't be able to do as much damage as they normally would which is also a pretty good thing and then this character also gets a hundred percent stun resistance for two turns which we're getting into the marge territory with that part of his signature move so that's actually pretty good too so far, I like the Adrenaline Rush and the Signature Move pretty good as well. Now, his Mythic Abilities, Precision, yeah, I, I guess that works how it should, uh, I guess. But anyway, let's talk about Unstoppable. At the start of each wave, all teammates get 100%, 100% stun resistance for one turn. Again, we're getting into the S-Class Marge territory with that, which that, I would definitely recommend leveling up Unstoppable for sure. Even if it's just for one turn, I wouldn't level it up all the way, right away. I mean, maybe eventually level it up all the way, but I don't think it's super important to level up immediately but it's definitely one worth leveling up all the way eventually for sure cease focus at the start of each wave a hundred percent chance to remove focus from up to three enemies this one is good and it depends on the situation you're coming up against say if your team has Uncle Sam, for example, that one would be a really good one. But if your team really doesn't have anyone like Uncle Sam or whatever, um, this one I would think about. It's still pretty good, but this one, cease, uh, yeah, it cease focus. It's dependent upon you. I would say it's worth leveling up, but maybe not immediately all the way. Um, halting force. When being attacked, 30% chance to stun the attacker for their next two turns. 
I think I would go ahead and level up Halting Force all the way as soon as possible. I think that's a really good one because you think about it, he could be he in that instance of having Halting Force leveled up all the way. He could kind of be like an alert tune in that aspect. Even though he's strong, you know, you have the chance of someone attacking him and you have that uh, mythic ability leveled up all the way. You know, he could kind of turn into an alert tune how way back in the day, I mean, it's still a problem now, but way back in the day when you would attack alert tunes, you would take the risk of stunning your entire team for two turns, which back then that was a huge deal. If your whole team got stunned for two turns, that was pretty much done, you know, done with, pretty much over at that point. So this one, Halting Force, yeah, I would go ahead and recommend leveling that one up all the way. And Indomitable, it's pretty good. I mean, he can just stack defense over and over and over and over. It's pretty good. So, yeah, no need really going over, spending a whole lot of time going over that one. Now, for the weapon options, you have a couple of options. If you want to go the more defensive route, for sure, he has, he definitely has no attack potential. I don't know why they didn't bump up his HP a little bit more and just lowered his attack, but it is what it is. You can have a strong weapon of any kind that has uh, defense, HP, um, healing, stun. Oh, and what's the fourth one? What's the fourth one? Um, I think it's Stonewall. That would be a really good one. Yeah, so Defense, HP, Healing Stun, and Stonewall. Or, if you don't want to do any... If you don't want to have a weapon that has Healing Stun, you could do HP, you know, Defense, HP, um, Stonewall, and then AP down. So, if you were able to get Diego's Buzzsaw... From the league store, that would be a really good weapon for Marcus. I could see people, you know, sticking with and using Diego's buzzsaw over a healing stun to really get that and bump up that defense and HP for sure. Because this guy has no business being uh, having as much attack as he does HP. In my opinion, they should have bumped up that HP a little bit more and lowered the attack because this guy doesn't have any attack potential whatsoever. This guy is surely a defensive control type of character, obviously. So, yeah, like I said, a weapon with defense, HP, healing stun, stone wall, or if you don't want to have a weapon with healing stun... Defense, HP, AP down, Stonewall. I think that's absolutely one of the two ways you could go with this guy as far as his weapon, and I think you would be totally fine, for sure. Now, my closing thoughts. I think he personally looks pretty cool, and besides Cliff, he might honestly be the best Kingdom Allegiance Fighter, perhaps, maybe. And I definitely want to do a character review on Gold Mythic William. And that's going to come next weekend, for sure. So, I don't think I have much else left to say. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. If you guys want to jump down there to the comments and tell me what you think about Gold Mythic Marcus or just tell me if you pulled for him and did you get him or just to simply say hi you may if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and if you like my content subscribe to see more it would be much appreciated 
And to those who are subscribed to me already, it is very much appreciated. You guys are very awesome, and I thank you again. I want each and every one of you to have a magnificent day and magnificent weekend as well. And don't forget to hit the bell and switch on all notifications so you know the second I upload to YouTube. I am Buckbeak, and I'm going to go fly away back to my nest. Until next time, bye guys.